Following the Taiwan visit of U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, China blocked the import of thousands of Taiwanese food products. To counter the bans, the Ministry of Economic Affairs is launching a 200 million NT initiative to help Taiwanese businesses expand into 13 alternative markets with subsidies and large-scale promotional events. With the Mid-Autumn Festival just over a month away, bakeries have started offering gift sets containing pineapple cakes and other pastries. Last week, China imposed an import ban on thousands of Taiwanese food products amid the Taiwan visit by U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now, pastry makers are trying to find ways to sell their products in new markets. Of course, we as businesses wouldn't want everyone to flock to China, so we'll have to look into Southeast Asia and Northeast Asia. I think these markets can replace the Chinese market. If businesses work hard, they can probably minimize losses. To help businesses diversify, the Ministry of Economic Affairs has also introduced the 200 million NT initiative to promote Taiwan's food products around the world. From August through December, the ministry will organize large-scale events and set up pop-up stores and shopping centers in 13 countries. It expects 2,000 businesses to benefit from this initiative. They include Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, South Korea, Japan and the U.S. among others. If manufacturers want to do sales themselves by setting up on online platform services, we will offer 100,000 NT in subsidies. If manufacturers wish to find their own local distributors, then we will offer a 200,000 NT subsidy for every market for a total of up to 1 million NT. In related news, China is tightening enforcement of rules on labeling of Taiwanese products. Freight operators and Chinese importers have been asked to notify Taiwanese companies that their products' place of origin must be listed as Taiwan China. Labeling of ROC or Taiwan will be rejected for import. The products are being blocked at the customs over in China. We will work with customs and provide relevant information to Chinese customs. We're also looking into the issue case by case on a daily basis. Companies whose shipment is blocked by China should file relevant documents to the Ministry of Economic Affairs so that officials can seek solutions on a collective level.